Only 4,370 pounds, a no-slide carpetless couples camper from Wildwood landing here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And I've always had a bit of a sweet spot for this layout because it was the last floor plan that my grandparents ever owned and I have a lot of really good memories growing up camping with them. They camped in a J-Flight version of this, but the same floor plan nonetheless. And it is incredible. Although the layout is generally the same, the number of things that have changed and advanced since then, since about 10 years ago when they just got to the point that they were done camping, it's absolutely remarkable. It starts right here in the kitchen too. And of specific note, is right above this blackout shaded window, that extra cabinet that extends in that sofa side area right there. In this class price point, that's the kind of thing that is very often left out. And you can see with like the uh, storage shelving overhead the, uh, the sink cabinet, Wildwood's become extremely good at storage. And that's something I say all the time about like the Coachman Catalina series here. Coachman as a whole is very good at storage. Wildwood's really giving them a run for their money. Like, for instance, this was the first mainstream brand to bring in that 10.7 uh, cubic foot 12-volt compressor fridge that we're looking at. And since then, a lot of brands have jumped on that bandwagon, and Wildwood was really the one that said, okay, we're going to do it. We're going to see how it works. And it works well. We actually have recently done some, all, uh, some of our own weekend demo testing in a Wildwood to see how that fridge works. And we were very happy, very impressed with its performance. Cooled quickly, kept things working. We were afraid it was going to be more like a cooler than a fridge and a freezer. It was not. It got the job done nicely. Um, these have upgraded to sealed edge counters through the entire camper. You'll see the same thing back in the bathroom and the dining table. A uh, stovetop cover, sink cover, little details like that are very often missed in this kind of class and price point. You can see we are carpetless, ventless, easy cleaning, pet friendly, kid friendly, spill friendly. Not that you want to have spills, but God forbid you do. Uh, you've got a you know easier way to take care of it here. Now up top, if you want, you have uh, TV hookups on that wall across from the sofa. And then as we look over here, right above that window, that little black box that's coming into view, that is our Bluetooth stereo system. So if you want to, you can also plug in some HDMI stuff like a Roku stick or whatever and get some cool entertainment. But this class and category, this is uh, kind of a camper, more of an RV, less of a glamper, if that makes sense. A lot of people that will buy one of these are like, I, I'm not, I don't care about the TV. I, I care about going out and going camping. And I love that big campsite window right there. We got our easy four-person dinette. And uh, if we take a look, what's also nice is I've got that window open just flooding in light right now, which is kind of affecting the camera negatively, but... Uh, as you can see, you can uh, pull down the blackout shade on that window as well. You'll have blackout shades all the way around here. And that dinette can fold down into an extra sleeper space. And we still have the sofa for a guest sleeper as well. We'll see that in a minute. Because first we have to check out the Wildwood Stow and Go storage system. Under both bench ends, you see that, well, just under the benches, I suppose, not the ends, because they take up the whole bench, are these big storage totes. And what's cool, you could stack these up, you could put them out of the way if you're not using them, but they're also food grade. So if you have extra, like, granola bars or something like that, you can keep that stuff stowed away in here without worrying about contaminating them. Now back here in the bathroom area, you see you've got a foot flush stool with plenty of leg room, and there is a large counter space in here so that, uh, you know, if you have blow dryers, shavers, you want plenty of room to set your toothbrushes and whatnot, you have it. A uh, mirrored medicine cabinet instead of just a mirror glued against the wall. That's the extra kind of stuff that they put into these. It's just those little details that add that extra feature and function. And of course, that's a GFI protected outlet right there. So if you happen to drop something into a wet sink that's electrical, you're not going to kill yourself and burn down your camper. We have found killing yourself or burning down your camper are two factors that really work against a customer's enjoyment of an RV. Crazy, right? I also like that we have an easy step in large radius shower. Very nice for bigger folks like me. The protective surround paneling means that you don't have to wipe down your shower walls when you're done. And we also like to add in the skylight above the shower here to give you the extra ambient light, plus some headroom in the shower if you're a little taller like me. Coming out of the bathroom, you get a good look at that big campsite viewing breeze window right there, more of that sealed edge counter stuff. This does have centralized air. That's another thing I want to point out here. 
in a smaller class trailer like this. That is not something you will always have. And I have to double check because I see so many RVs, I can't remember. I believe that's actually optional here. If it's not, it's the way that we've always, I mean, we've always built our Wildwoods that way. I know at least one point it was optional, but we've done it so consistently for so long, I can't keep it straight anymore. Another neat thing, if you take a look right here, it's a couple's camper. But you've got decent guest privacy. There is that full curtain that crosses over, and obviously, as we said, the uh, sofa can fold down into an extra bed as well. And that's what's kind of cool about this one. It is intended to be primarily a couple's camper, which is why they went with that full open design that you see right here versus an enclosed private bedroom. It makes this little camper look and feel not so little. But what's nice is when you need it, you have the guest capacity. Good for, you know, occasional grandkid or, I don't know, maybe just even an adult, an adult guest who's going to stay over. Uh, Clutter-cutting shoe garage kind of under the sofa. A neat little location for that right next to the door. Makes a lot of sense. Big campsite viewing and breeze window over here. But I want to draw your attention to those side stands. You see how it's got that cutaway cubby in there? And if you look a little more closely, there's actually household outlets inside that cubby with USB plugs outside. That's true on both sides of the bed because this RV has dedicated CPAP storage stands and you can use those also for just kind of keeping your phone out of the way. It is a really handy feature. On this side of the curtain, on the privacy side, you do have TV hookups here as well. So you can have a living room TV set up, a bedroom TV set up. You can have two different situations going on at the same time. And very often in this price point, we will not have gas struts for an easy lift plywood decked bed. It's just some of those nice consistencies that you see in the Wildwood group. If our cargo shifts in transit, you can actually get in here to move it around. But you notice how there actually is a separator wall because you have more of those handy stow and go storage totes. And I've always kind of thought this really functions very nicely as something like a, uh, a dresser space. But there's yet another handy little shoe garage below that. And here's a good look from inside the compartment, how you can get to that storage room either way, thanks to that easy lift bed. What's also nice is the cleanliness and organization of this pastor. They give you these handy little hangers for things like your power tongue, like a jack crank override. And you see that funny thing, <laughs> looks like a, uh, a cattle prod prober kind of job. That is for the strong arm stabilizer jack T handle, so you don't have to crawl under the camper. We'll see those in just a second. First, before we do that, I just want to give you an idea of how large this passer is. There's also one more little hanger right there with nothing on it, and that's where you would find this guy right here. The sort of cordless jack system, that's a tongue-in-cheek phrase we like to use here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. The idea behind this is that most people have a 12 or 18 volt power drill lying around, and if you don't, you should probably get one for your camper anyway. So you can turn yourself into a NASCAR pit crew and, uh, you know, put your jacks up and down in a hurry. Now that yellow beam right there, that's that strong arm stabilizer jack I was telling you about. You'll find those on the front and rear jacks. And when you crank those suckers down, even if you just hand tighten them, you will take like 99% of the wiggle out of the camper. You know when you're watching a hand soap or commercial or something like that. It's like, kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. It'll take 99.9% .9 of the wiggle jiggle out of your campsite. There's a side mount solar prep plug next to that big compartment. Notice how it has a uh, magnet hold back to keep that open as well. The stable steps, the strong arm jacks, the power tongue jack all working together to keep this thing steady. But the thing is, there's another unsung hero here. The four corner power stabilizer jacks on this camper a lot of people don't realize Wildwoods are rated for about twice the weight you would normally find in this brand of camper. What that means in English is that you can really lock those suckers down to the ground to make sure that uh, you know you have complete stabilization at your site. This rides on a custom engineered chassis, which is the reason it has a two-step instead of a three-step entry, but it still has a normal interior height. The whole body is actually just mounted a little bit lower to the ground, but you're not getting reduced um, ground clearance. It's just that the body of the RV is uh, over top of the chassis a little bit more effectively. And where you can see that, <coughs> pardon me, literally choking on my words, is up here, this integrated uh, A-frame that you see right there. Now, as we uh, look down, there's one more thing I want to point out. It's super, super easily missed, and it's a really, I think, important factor here. And that is the tough coat skin system. Basically, any exposed aluminum, whether it's that nose, the side, the rear walls, has a really heavy anti-scratch coating applied to it so that this thing doesn't just look good, it stays that way. 
All Wildwoods have walkable roofing. You got your 3 8 decking, 16 inch on center wall and uh, roof studs, 5 8 tongue and groove plywood flooring. And there's actually 12 inch on center floor studs. That's something I haven't done a good job in previous videos of expressing. I, I think I have actually left much of the impression that it has 16 inch on center studs all the way around. The floors of most trailers like this, whether it's J Flight, Catalina, Cherokee, Wildwood, you will tend to find 12 inch on center floor studs. Um, a little more structural support there. And if you want a good house, you start with a good foundation, right? Uh, LED lit, power awning with tilt, of course, outside speakers. And then you've got that anti-slam door. But beyond that, we've pretty much covered everything. This is obviously not my longest video because this is not the longest camper. And that's one of the other nice things about it. There's going to be a lot of people who are maybe I call slide skeptics or like, look, I don't want to slide out. I'm spooked by a slide or I don't need one. I don't have the budget for one, whatever the case may be. This is an awesome lighter weight couples camper that uh, has, you know, a very easy to manage weight uh, category on it where you don't have to spend the extra money to maybe get into an ultralight. This one will take care of you just fine. And I think that's, it just does a very good job of that, in my opinion. Something else I didn't mention, and I should have up on the tongue, there is a 12 volt battery disconnect switch as well to make sure that that uh, refrigerator isn't gonna eat the battery alive when it's in storage. Smart. And that's what I call this. It's not starter class, it's smarter class. That's really what this is. And that sounds good. Give us a call here at Halet RV. We don't do hidden dealer fees, but we do everything else, even RV delivery. So it does not matter where you are. All we ask for in return for our efforts is the fair opportunity to earn your business. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.